I'm Joe X, The Body Coach, and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. Today's video is a nice, simple mobility flow to get you improving your flexibility and your mobility in your joints, so that when you do a workout, you're gonna get the best out of them. You could do it before a session, you could do it after, or even just any time of the day before bed or on a rest day. It's just gonna open up your joints, get you breathing, relaxing, and hopefully you know, reducing any injuries and improving your posture. So nice and simple, it's only gonna last a few minutes. So first of all, we're just gonna do nice deep, deep breaths, so arms up, and exhale. So in through the nose and out through the nose. Good, nice big breath in. Stretch up. And exhale so from the side. Really big circles to the top, stretch. Exhale. Final breath. Good, brilliant. We're now gonna go onto the floor. So right knee on the ground, left foot forward. We're gonna now, you can put your hand on your knee and we're gonna be stretching our hip flexor and open up our hip joints. So just coming up, so breathe in. Exhale and stretch in. So breathe in. Exhale. As you get that breath in and you exhale, it's gonna allow you to really relax the muscle. Exhale as you come forwards. You're gonna feel a stretch in your hip and your hip flexor here. You can take it a little bit further now, so lift our arms up. So inhale, exhale. Good, nice big stretch as you come back. So stretch back and then arms up. You're gonna feel that right in there. Couple more reps. So inhale. Exhale, brilliant. We're gonna change legs now. So right leg forwards, same thing. So put, just start on the knee first. So inhale, exhale, stretch forwards. Good, so inhale, over, inhale. And then, and as you exhale each time, you're gonna go a little bit further. So now let's go with the arms up. So we're getting a stretch in our lower body, but also our shoulders and lats. Good, inhale. Breathe in again, inhale. Final one. Perfect, right, so now we're gonna come, both hands on the ground. We're gonna go into this all fours position. And what we're gonna do from here, we're gonna push into a downward dog. So inhale, and then exhale. Pushing the hands into the ground, so then just walk the feet a little bit. If your heels aren't touching again, it's fine. Just keep breathing, just stretching out those calves and hamstrings. Good, so breathe in. Plank, and then we go downward dog again, so exhale. A little walk. So these moves really are gonna open up so many muscles and joints and get you moving better. So breathe in, last one. Exhale. Push those hands into the ground and walk those heels out, left to right. Good, and keep breathing. So knees on the ground. We're now gonna do one, another great one for the hip. So really, we're gonna open up your hip joints. Go into the press up position. From here, you're gonna breathe in. And exhale. <coughs> Put that foot outside of the hand if you can, and I've got my elbow there against my knee, just pushing it out. So just hold that position for a sec. I'm gonna try not to hold, try not to hold your breath, keep breathing. And repeat, so now we'll change legs. So breathe in. And then other leg. If you find that you can't keep your knee off the ground, you could always put the knee down. Just feel that stretch right through your hip there. Okay, so let's go breathe in again. And then left foot. Breathe in again, breathe in. And right leg. Okay, 
Okay, now we're gonna go, same thing, except we're gonna put the leg out and then twist. So left hand, we're gonna twist open and open up the chest now and the shoulders. So breathe in, exhale. Hand down, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Last one. Good, breathe in. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, hand down, and then exhale, twist. Good, final one. Inhale, exhale, and relax, good. Brilliant, so we're now gonna do another one, really good for your hips. Basically what we're gonna do, starting in a standing position, we're just gonna sit down nice and low into a squat and just get into that movement, trying to kind of open up your hip joints. This is gonna really help benefit your squats. Good, so just a little rotation, just a little wiggle. So we're six minutes in, let's do two more minutes. Eight minutes is enough. This is a great little way of just, you know, relaxing before bed, or we'll do it in the morning, but ultimately it's gonna get easier each time and your mobility is gonna improve, you're gonna feel way better, you're gonna feel energized and you're gonna really get the most out of your session because HIIT training and resistance training is tough on the body. It tightens all your muscles, it tightens everything up. So this is something that you should try and do as much as you can on a training day and a rest day. And if you did this before workout and after, you'd be, you'd be winning. Okay, right, so. I'm gonna do one more move now. One of my favorites called the pigeon. So back into that uh, downward dog position. So plank, do a downward dog. And then we're gonna bring our left foot forwards and across, so basically gonna rest that knee at a slight angle and you're gonna just sit down, rest that back knee down. So you're gonna feel that right through there in the hip flexor, which is really tight sometimes, and also on the outside of your thigh and your glute. So, you know, if you're more advanced, your leg will be sort of horizontal at one point, but mine's very tight, so that's fine. Get the angle, just anchor that knee and leg and foot into the ground. And from there, you can just keep your hands on the ground and just get that stretch and just wiggle a little bit if you need to. You're really gonna feel it on the outside of your thigh. And as an, as an advanced sort of move, you can then relax into it. So breathe in, and then. You can sit into it, I and mean, you can spend a minute there or two. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely stretch. So we're gonna breathe in, legs come back, downward dog. Same with the right leg now. So right leg comes in and across. Position it on the mat. Just sitting up, back legs nice and straight behind you. And this is gonna really open up your hip. Like I said, it's working all these muscles here, your hip joint, but also the hip flexor at the front. So last 30 seconds. This is one I really need to practice more, but it is a brilliant hip opener. It's called the pigeon. So deep breath. Exhale. Good, let's just come out of that. One little downward dog to finish. So breathe in. Exhale. Walk it out. Knees on the ground gently. That has taken us. Nine minutes, I hope you enjoyed that. It's simple, basic moves. You might find that one sort of side's really tight and the other one's a bit more flexible, but hopefully doing that a few times a week, either before your session or after, is really gonna help with your mobility, get you feeling better and also moving better. So, hope you enjoyed that. If you wanna see more like that, comment below, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for taking part, and I'll see you next time on The Body Coach TV.